This video is supported by viewers like you. If you want to help me make more things like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. If you ever find yourself confusedly running around South Korea in need of directions, do yourself a favor. Suppress that first instinct to pull out your phone to open Google Maps. It wouldn't do you any good. In South Korea, it is about as useful as a map made of paper. You notice something's wrong right from the get-go. While the rest of the planet seems unremarkably homogenous, South Korea first appears as a white void. Get a bit closer and a map appears. A map that doesn't seem to belong there at all. Instead of the dynamic map you're used to, you get a static image of a map that looks and feels very differently. You can't click on points on the map for further information, which isn't great when much of it is only available in Korean. And when you try to actually go somewhere, it gets worse. You choose your starting point, choose your destination, hit enter, and nothing. Except for public transit, Google Maps does not offer any directions in South Korea. No cycling, no driving, not even walking directions. The reason why is found on this piece of virtual paper, which forbids the publication of maps featuring military bases and installations, basically saying, go ahead, produce and publish maps of South Korea, but leave out the naughty bits. A country can't just enforce its laws wherever, so it's essential that South Korean map data stays in South Korea. As soon as a company like Google, with servers all over the world, has access to its map data, it can't be put back in the box. The company could, legally speaking, do with it whatever it pleased, as long as it's not doing it within South Korea's borders. And because Google has declined to run its map servers from there, the maps it gets consist of process data. Basically, map images in different resolutions, with sensitive locations already cut out. That there's stuff missing only really becomes clear when you pull up a military base and switch from map to satellite view. Which, since it's recorded from far above, not within South Korean airspace, Google can show uncensored. Click satellite view, and the secret is revealed. Google isn't too happy about the substandard maps it's stuck with, so for years and years, it has requested access to South Korea's raw map data. So far, without success. Can I maybe have access to your raw map data? Don't worry, I'm taking the best of care of everybody's data. I'll do the same with yours. Hello? Look, I had this awesome all-new low-res pre-rendered map made especially for you. Here you go. Glad to help. Um... I said, here you go, mother Google usually doesn't censor its maps. Actually... Oh. Google is no stranger to messing with satellite or map data. As seen in Spain, Greece, Mexico, China, Belgium, France, even Antarctica. Satellite imagery of all of Israel, Palestine and the Golan Heights is intentionally kept at a lower resolution. And look at that! China comes back for a bonus round because it also algorithmically shifts every map point of the entire country, which lets you drive on the South China Sea at times. Usually that's justified with national security concerns. And in South Korea, it's no different, since there is the small matter of it being, strictly speaking, still at war with its neighbor to the north. Should the conflict boil over once again, the thought goes, North Korea would have a strategic advantage, simply looking up South Korean bases online to know exactly where to point the missiles. On the other hand, satellite imagery of both Koreas is already widely available, even if complete map data is not. And cutting out chunks of a map doesn't do much for camouflage, when you can find South Korean military bases by looking for an unnatural gap in the map, or literally searching for South Korean military bases. Whether they're helpful or not, the restrictions have led to the peculiar situation that Google Maps is much more useful in North Korea than in the South. Let's say you're on holiday in Seoul, you ask Google Maps for the walking route back to your hotel, and what you get is public transit directions, and that's it. If you instead plan to take a leisurely stroll from the town of Yodok in the North Korean mountains to the secret concentration camp a few kilometers to the north, Google Maps tells you the exact route, gives you an estimated travel time of about two hours, and even offers driving directions, should you prefer not to move about an isolated military dictatorship on foot. How is that possible? We have come to a decision. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea will cooperate with imperialist map service companies by providing precise map data of our beautiful country. We believe that animosity should not impair the free distribution of knowledge, as it is knowledge 
and mutual understanding that will bring this heartbreaking conflict to a peaceful end is not what happened. North Korea, shockingly, does not cooperate with US internet giants. But if you want an accurate map, you need actual surveyor people on the ground, surveying the area with surveying tools to get good data. That's not a possibility here. So what does Google do? It lets you fill in the map. For regions where high quality map data is not available, either because whoever has it doesn't want to share, or it never existed in the first place, Google lets users add streets and shops and houses based on satellite imagery to literally put uncharted places on the map. That is by no means a perfect approach. Satellite images show that North Korean maps are far from complete and there's always a possibility of online vandalism. But in case you don't enjoy your stay in North Korea and want to make a rather hasty journey home, you can count on Google Maps to show you the fastest route towards the border. Despite major wins in the country that wants not to be mapped, Google Maps' lack of functionality in the south makes it borderline obsolete. Without directions, you might as well draw your own maps. But why again can't Google offer directions in South Korea? Sure, they only get already censored pre-rendered map tiles, not the actual location data, but so does everybody's favorite map service. And it does offer full directions. Somehow, and I know that sounds wrong, Bing seems to have better map material than Google. Why? We can only speculate. So let's do that. Google doesn't censor its satellite images of South Korea. Bing does. What Google clearly shows to be an army base in Seoul, Bing turns into an inconspicuous forest with a Starbucks inside it. You planted a forest in the middle of the city? That's mad green. Uh, yeah, thanks. But maybe Bing's map provider just has better data than Google's, I hear you say. Possible. Were it not for the fact that both Google and Bing get their South Korean maps from one and the same place. Telecommunications giant SK Telecom. So far as cooperation in censoring South Korea's military bases and installations, Bing is rewarded with better map material? Oh shit. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're the one who wrote me. Shh, I know that, but they don't. They? Who are you talking to? It gets lonely in here. Even those pre-rendered map tiles Google can get its hands on are extremely outdated. Take the example of this road in Busan. They built that road in 2015, along with a huge hotel complex. But, grab onto your seat. On 2020's Google Maps, it's still missing. While on Bing, which, again, gets its maps from the same source, the road's all there. It seems that Google is intentionally fed worse map material. And where Google is missing out, others benefit. Unlike their US competitor, South Korean internet companies Naver and Kakao do have access to precise, up-to-date map data because they run their businesses from within South Korea and censor their maps according to South Korean law. The better map data allows them to offer both fully dynamic maps, you know, the click on a point and get all the info you might need kind, and of course, full directions. Compare that to Google's digital excuse of a paper map, and it's no shocker why no one uses Google Maps in South Korea. Hey guys, so Google Maps is like really bad in Korea, so don't use it. Everybody there knows that Naver Map and Kakao Map are the way to go. They were only available in Korean for a super long time, but lucky for you, both got English version updates before the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, so yay. But better brush up on your Korean, because the English versions can have some issues from time to time. Anyway, they're still so much cooler than stinky Google Maps. Okay, see you guys. Sarang hey. <gasps> now, did South Korea put its map data restrictions in place simply to give its own map companies a huge advantage? Probably not. But despite Google running by far the most popular map service on this planet, Naver and Kakao own their domestic map market, thanks to South Korea's map data policy. Why is this other US tech giant map service baby not getting the same treatment as Google? Well, it's Bing, isn't it? But 
Before you unroll your banners and declare this an absolute victory for the righteous local underdogs, consider that Naver, besides a map service, also runs South Korea's biggest search engine, a Q&A platform, a messenger app, a photo and video messenger app, a group chat app, an online comic platform, and many things more. While Kakao runs a search engine, a messenger app, a transportation app, a media company, a social media platform, an online comic platform, an online banking service, and on goes the list. Both companies have multiple billion US dollar revenues and dominate South Korea's mobile app sector. So when it comes to map services in South Korea, it seems a foreign giant has been shut out for the sake of domestic ones.